I think one of the best things you can do in a DAW today is that you have the possibility to make changes that are non-destructive and go really easy. So if you were working with a tape recorder, for example, it would be really difficult to make pitch or time stretch and timing changes. And that we do a lot in DAWs nowadays. I think it is something that practically all of us do, unless you want to do a production that is really old school and really natural, like a blues or a jazz recording where you don't touch anything that has an influence on your timing or the pitch because the saxophone player or the trombonist or the vocalist do very special things to the notes and play with pitch and time and you want to keep it. But if you don't have such a production then you will probably work on pitch and timing issues of your production and that is basically the case for most of the tunes we do nowadays. People are so used to hear perfect music that it is basically impossible to just record anything and leave it like that if it is a standard rock, pop or electronic dance music production. Therefore I wanted to show you some tricks how you can work with pitch and time stretch and intonation tools in Cubase. This first video will be about pitch shifting and there are a few really simple solutions for that and I want to show these real quick. The first one and the easiest one goes like this. You have an event in your project window and if you click on it and you have here on this cogwheel your info line activated. Then you get two possibilities here that let you pitch shift this event really easy. You have transpose that is four half steps and fine tuning which goes in cents and cents are basically 100 cents are a half step. So if you want to transpose any event, you just go up here to these two and type in a number or like I do it right now, you just hover over the field and use your mouse wheel or you click with your mouse in that field and drag up and down and you can change the value really easy. And that's it. So I have a single bass note here which sounds like this. And I have my loop activated and if I play my bass note You can hear how I can use the pitch shifting of the info line in a really practical way. The quality is not too bad, but I would say there are um, limitations to how many half steps you can pitch your material before it loses quality. What I used was this because for example, in one production, which wasn't a high-end production, just like a pre-production phase, um, I got a file from a guitar player who used a capo and didn't retune his guitar. So the file itself sounded really okay, but when I put it into the mix, 
it sounded slightly sharp because the capo was so hard pressed down on the strings that the guitar got detuned slightly sharp and it wasn't too bad especially because it was only a pre-production but it wasn't sounding very good so I went up here and just tuned it down a few cents and that did the trick it sounded way better and lost practically nothing of the quality and for that case I think this function is really good especially because you can do that for every event different so right now my first event is detuned three cents down and my second event only one and my the next one i want to transpose a half step up and that i can do really quick and easy and these are all on the same track the second possibility is a little bit different and you can activate it on four different points. The first way is you right click your event while you hold down your command key and you go to processes and here to pitch shift. The same you can find up here in your audio menu, processes and pitch shift. The third way would be if you open your audio editor, the sample editor and you go here in your left zone to processes, you will also find the pitch shift and the fourth one is if you directly open your direct offline processing window. And that works if you press the F7 button on your computer keyboard. Then you will find here on top processes as well and you can select pitch shift and that will give you the pitch shifting tool of Cubase. This works really simple. You Place your red key somewhere on the keyboard. That means that is your root note. You can do so by clicking here in the keyboard while you hold down your Alt or Option key. That will activate the red key, which is your root note. You can also go here that is your root note as well. Open the drop down and select any of the notes depending on the octave you want to use. And the second one is the blue key. If you click just anywhere with your mouse and don't hold down the Alt or Option key then you will activate the blue key and that gives you an interval between the red and the blue key and that is what the pitch shifting process will do. So right now my root key is C and for transposing I have four half steps. That means in the end my event here that I selected will be four half steps higher. You see these tiny brackets down here that means depending on your root key you can only transpose so far. So I can go this far if I want to click here it's not working anymore. That is the maximum that I can do for this root note I can only transpose so far down or up. You can also go here and like I said before in the info line you can 
drag up and down or scroll with your mouse wheel or type in a number and you have also half steps and sense for a fine tuning. You could also already hear that the notes are being played so that you get a acoustic feedback for what you are doing right now. So the first note is my root and if I place a second one you will hear at first the root note and then the second one. So if I click here you hear two notes. The first is the root and the next one is the blue, so the transposed note. Two things you can do here that are very different from the info line is you can use like a time correction or not. That means if you do not use it and you pitch it up or down, your event will get longer or shorter. So basically like you would use a tape recorder and if you play your tape with a higher speed the notes get higher but the time will also get shorter. And if you use this timing correction that means your note will stay the same length then you have the possibility to use different qualities. So as I see it MPEX is a high quality algorithm but you also have different solutions depending on what you want to do. So is it a single note or are there more than one note at the same time or is it something you want to just do real fast? Is it a musical thing you want to do? Is it a complex thing or do you want to preserve your formants which is very important if you want to pitch vocal events. You also have the possibility to pre-listen this effect which you just created and if you play it here with your play button you can hear it once. If you activate the loop it will play this event in a loop and you can experiment down here and you also have a tiny slider for the volume of the preview function. Then you just have to do one thing. You have to click on do it or auto. That means that everything you do here in that window will automatically be rendered into your file. Sometimes I guess it is really practical to do so but in other cases I would rather deactivate that function and find out first what I want to have and then click on do it. Besides that the pitch shifting has an even better function because okay this is this is sometimes what you need and I think it uh, does the job and it's an okay tool but for that if I don't need a good quality I would just go here to oops the info line and use that and if I need a good quality, I wouldn't uh, start pitch shifting. I would record it in um, the right pitch in the first place. 